Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Welcome back to the Basement Horde to be exact. So it's about 1.30 Sunday, which makes it January 19th, somewhere around 60 degrees in here. Right, I got a little correlation between uh, these things. Um, what am I up to today? Yeah, let's take a look at this guy. <clears throat> I have a battery charger that I um, I first saw Pepper Cat Keith a while ago, a couple years ago. Um, had it in one of his videos. I don't think he necessarily made a video about it, but I saw it and I thought it was really cool. So shortly after I saw his video, I was at the flea market and I saw one in person. And here it is. Um, and we'll go through why I like it so much in a moment. But it, it, um, well, that's a cool one. I told you uh, if it's going to snow or rain or what it's going to do. Anyhow, oh, and by the way, it's warm because I got the pellet stove going here, or the wood stove going. Anyway, so I bought it, and I used it for a while now. And then suddenly, uh, this is the fan that goes in there. I don't know. My problem is I'm showing you again. And it uh, stopped going round. Right, it's kind of, I mean, I got to push it pretty hard to get it to go around. So, being a eBay lunatic, I looked it up on eBay, and I found that I can get a replacement fan that's similar, but not exactly the same thing. So, I bought the fan, and there it is. The problem with the new fan is it's bigger. And I couldn't quite, I don't want to tear any of the wires loose. I couldn't quite get it into the box. If you look at the mounts, you can kind of see the uh, four mounts there. And you can see that the fan's bigger. This fan, if you, you see those holes, those divots right there, well, those kind of went right on those standoffs right. right I'm trying to do this like the one-handed man right there are four standoffs and the way the fans are set up I didn't want the uh, blades see because this has nice standoffs the blade stays away from obviously hitting the standoffs because it's sitting on them and so forth so what I did was I took a piece of wire and I wrapped it from here across the face of the fan, diagonally out, screwed it on. Um, I was able to use this bolt hole right here. So between the wire being bolted through there and that bolt working, I did get the fan on to the thing and it does blow. And this location is kind of important. You could say, oh, well, just put it anywhere. Because these are the diodes. So what it does is it blows air across. The diodes are on the other side. But it blows air across this heat sink to keep everything cool. Right? One doesn't want to melt this thing down. So as I turn it to put it on. Oops. Right. You can see it's located over there, which would blow air across the heat sink here. Now let me show you. I get the wires are a little long. I deliberately made them that way. Let me show you why I like this thing so much. I already have it hooked to a battery over there. But just plug it in. Excuse the really lousy camera work. Now what it does is it tells you right up front, voltage 3.7, it's not even trying to charge it yet. It does tell you it's connected though. So I like that part, right? What you do is you pick the kind of battery, and in this case, I'm going to charge a gel cell, and it's a small guy, so, right? I can pick whatever I want, but I pick gel cell, right? And it started charging. You can hear the fan spinning. You can see the voltage going up, right? 
and I can put it on that. That's percentage of battery, how much charge the battery's holding. Right? That's voltage. And the lower thing, um, if you're hooked to something with an alternator in it, it'll tell you if it's charging or not. By If it's like at 13 volts, it would say to itself, if it's already at 13 volts, it's not trying to charge up there, it would, um, it would tell you the percentage of alternator, how good your alternator is. So anyway, I'm 8% charged, 9% charged, right? It's, it's trying to force 16 volts into the battery, and what it's doing is it's monitoring the current, which is why, how it's making this percentage calculation. So I've been really happy with this thing. Speed charge, as it's called itself. It's made by, who's this, Schumacher. Right? Been very happy with this thing. That's the number. So, I think it was one of those eight or ten dollar flea market finds, and I just put another four bucks into a fan. So, anyway, I liked it. Something I'm up to. Uh, kind of cold out, kind of slippery out. I don't want to fall on my butt and break my hip again. So, I'm kind of stuck doing some things inside the house. So, here I am doing this. You guys can hear the fan running. Right? And what it's doing is it's pulling air through the back here. Watch if I cover it, listen to the change. So, just by the change, it's like a vacuum cleaner if you cover up the uh, suction. So, it is moving air across those diodes. So, my uh, repair has worked. Um, obviously, if the fan comes loose or whatever else, I'll be able to tell if it's clattering or not turning. It won't take a genius uh, to figure that out. So, okay, my big thing for today, I repaired a battery charger. Folks, remember to keep your tires down, your handlebars up, your steering wheel up, your tracks down. Live, love, and have a great time. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you all soon. Bye now.